Hi, my name is Justin from justasgood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create dust in Photoshop. Alright, so this effect is pretty fun to do and it's simple. It doesn't require any manual drawing with the brush or pencil tool. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is just create a new fill layer. So that's under layer, new fill layer, and select solid color. Hit OK and then you want to make it a solid black layer. So the color code should be all zeros. So once you created that new fill layer, you just want to right click and actually rasterize that layer because we're going to be adding a few filters to this to turn it into dust. So go ahead and go to filter, noise, add noise. You want it set to about a hundred percent amount and the distribution should be Gaussian. Also make sure you have monochromatic checked. And go ahead and select OK. It should look something like this. And then next we're going to turn this noise into the dust. So go ahead and go back to your filter menu, except this time open up your filter gallery. If you're in an older version of Photoshop, it'll be under the sketch, the filter sketch menu. But newer versions of Photoshop have contained them in this little gallery. So under the sketch menu, go ahead and select torn edges. And here you want to play around with the image balance, smoothness, and contrast until you get something that looks like this. So the contrast I'm using is 23, the smoothness I'm using is 12, and the image balance I'm using is 9. Play around with it to your liking. You can make the effect stronger or weaker, but those settings work well. So go ahead and select OK, and now you have some dust. But we're not done. We want to add another thin layer onto that. So go back to filter, back to noise, and click add noise again. Hope you're following me here. <laughs> it's kind of going in circles. But this time, instead of Gaussian, or sorry, stick everything the same except this time, just turn the amount down to about 10%. And then select OK. So that's our first layer of dust. So go ahead and select I mean, go ahead and change the blending mode from normal to screen. So now we have our dust and flex, but let's not stop just yet. We can actually duplicate this layer. You can right click and duplicate it. And actually we're going to add a little bit of a grainy texture to it because we're going to go to filter, blur, motion blur. Just keep it at a zero degree angle and turn the distance all the way up to 2000 pixels. It's going to create these kind of noisy streaks. And then you're going to distort those by going to filter, distort, wave. Here we're going to give those streaks a little bit of a wave and a grainy pattern. Just make sure the generators are set to 1. The wavelength, do the minimum um, at 500 and the maximum all the way up to 999. Amplitude, keep it 1 to 999 and the scale 1 to 100%. The type, make sure you select sign, and then undefined areas, tell Photoshop to wrap them around. So you can randomize that a few times. You can actually kind of see what it's going to look like. Just try to get one that looks a little realistic and not too crazy out there, and then select OK. And once you have that kind of grainy, almost like, a, almost like if you cut a tree open, that, that kind of texture, you can actually just turn the opacity of that down to about 25 to 50 percent depending on your liking. And then lastly we're going to add a tint of that dirty muddy color to it by going to layer, new fill layer and select solid color. Except this time try to imagine like what the page of a dirty old book looks like that kind of yellow really light yellow color. Uh, I'm going to use F F C D E and select OK and then set the blending mode of that layer to multiply. So that gives the whole thing like a kind of yellow tint. Kind of makes it look a little bit more dirty and vintage. So there's your finished effect. It's definitely a fun way to add a layer of dirt onto any photo you like. And it's cool because you get a random result each time. If you did like this tutorial, visit www.justthisgood.com and also check out my other tutorials. Also, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at justthisgood.com. 
Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date whenever I post a video. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.